The skateboard. One of America's finest tricking implements known to man in the entire world. But did you know that you can also save money on your gym membership with your skateboard? Probably not, right? So today what we're gonna do is show you 12 exercises that you had no idea you could do with just your skateboard. All right, so the first exercise we have is the side lunge. While you're doing this move, try to sit back and as much as possible, try to keep your knee from bending too far out forward over your toes. Ideally, you'll be keeping the line from your ankle to your knee almost completely vertical. All right, so number two is gonna be the reverse lunge. My only tip for you on this one is to either be really careful not to bang your knee on the concrete too hard, or you could just wear some knee pads. All right, so number three is gonna be a plank crunch with your feet on the board. For this one, make sure you're extending all the way back out into a full plank after you do your crunch so that you're maximizing the tension on your abs, and depending on your flexibility, keep your knees as straight as possible when you bring your feet to your hands. Number four is a way to make this easier. If you're having trouble with that, you can just do it where you're not bringing your butt up as high and you just kind of bring your knees in. Keep your upper body stationary and bring your knees into your chest. Try to go for at least three sets of 20 of these in a row. If you want to make it harder, add a push-up to it. Keep the same form as before, but this time, as you're extending back out into your plank, slowly lower your chest down to right above the ground and then push back up into your crunch. All right, so for this one, don't put your knees directly on the concrete or the uh, wood, whatever you have, but we're going to uh, basically just put our hands on the board and do more ab work. This move takes a lot of core strength depending on how far you extend out, so if you need to dial it back a little bit, just reduce how much you're letting your arms go out in front of you so that you can do at least 10 in a row. If you want to make this move a little more advanced, which I don't know why you would, but if you just happen to, get off your knees and get on your feet. Oh my gosh, that is so hard. I am not quite at the level I need to be to go as far down as I want yet, but that's a good exercise. That's a rock. Yeah, get out of here, rock. All right, so now for number seven, we're gonna do the hamstring pull. Lie on your back and raise your butt off the ground enough for the board to go underneath you and then just pull the board towards you and extend it back out. This move specifically targets your hamstrings, your glutes, and your lower back. I know that one doesn't look like much, but try it, it really is good. You can feel it, all, all the, your entire posterior chain, it works it. All right, so now for number eight, if you have a milk crate or something you can prop your feet up on, that's gonna level out what we're about to do. We're gonna do a push up with our hands on the skateboard. And since the skateboard's uh, raising our hands up off the ground, and that's gonna make the push up e like easier, put your feet on something up high, it'll even it back out. As with most exercises, Introducing instability into the movement increases its effectiveness by challenging the muscles around the ones you're targeting to keep everything in place. Now for number nine, we're gonna do same kind of thing, except we're gonna do one arm on the board, one arm on the ground, and what's gonna do is it's gonna make it really hard for the arm that's on the ground. On this one, try to keep your body as flat as possible and keep your elbow tucked in close to your side so that you're targeting your triceps. All right, so now a variation on that one is instead of pushing the board out in front, you can make it go out to the side and it'll be more like a uh, peck fly kind of a workout. So it'll be more of, more of this kind of a motion where you're working your inner 
pectoral muscles. Again, keep your body flat and if you're having trouble with it, you can take your feet down to the ground or even go to your knees until you build up the strength to do it with your feet on a box. All right, so for now, the next one, we're gonna put our feet on the board, hands on the ground in plank position, and just walk it back. This will help your shoulders in addition to your core. And then walk it back forward. If you need to make this one easier, one option you have available to you is you can bring your knees down to the board instead of doing it from your feet. If you wanna make that one more advanced, you can do shoulder touches while you're doing it. All right, so for now, the last one, we're gonna uh, basically take you, put your hands on the board like you're gonna do a handstand on the board. Do a plank, and then just try to go back and forth. This move, in addition to challenging your rectus abdominis, also works your obliques, which controls your upper body's ability to rotate from side to side. All right, so next time your skate session gets rained out, Grab your skateboard, clear space in your living area, and try some of these exercises out. Uh, it'll keep you in shape, and they were pretty fun to try. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video, and remember, never stop improving. The skateboard. One of America's finest trick. What's the word I'm looking for? It's a word for tool. What is that word? I don't even know if there is a word for that. Implements.